but it lets us know that peace has been on the playing field and is active and constantly moving toward an ever-evolving existence of more peace, more love. The journey of, of peace, recognizing that from the very beginning, it stated that in essence, the yin and the yang were there. In order for peace to be conceptualized, there had to be the other side. There had to be war, confusion, mayhem. And we find a lot of that happening right now. So I wanted to take us on this journey to recognize that, number one, and to remember that peace has always been here through all of the trials and tribulations of, of our world. There's always been an essence of peace. Before, we've kind of looked to a person or an organization to move that peace forward. And now I'm looking to me. How can I be a vessel of peace right now? Um, Reverend Kevin and I were talking on Sunday and just talking about some of the the mobs, the riots that have been taking place and then the counterpoint of people coming out as well. And so he asked this question, he said, you know, could you go down and be in support? And at first I was going to say yes and then I honestly I said no. I'm too triggered right now. And so if I were to participate, I would be giving the energy that the mob is giving, I would give it back. I, I, I would need a, <laughs> a split second. And so it really, it has really shone a light for me that this is some work that I must do. It, it's, it's understandable the things that are coming up for me is to move beyond this, is to recognize that both of these play a very important role in our world that we can't have one without the other and contrast as my dear beloved Abrahams have always said that contrast is not for us to fear it's nothing that has gone wrong it is the opportunity for us to know if we don't want this we do want this and even though I may want peace, it doesn't mean that everybody else is going to want peace. But I will, at a vibration, connect with those that do. As well, as if you are carrying anger, be it you think you're right and they're wrong, you are connecting at the lower level energy. And so, mob meets good intention ends up mob meeting mob. So I thought I would discuss some of the great peace, nonviolent leaders of our path. Some I know well, some I don't. But I found that the first symbol that I want to show you, the yin and the yang. Now, what's interesting about this, and um, my very first CD, is actually made with the yin and the yang on there. And so the yin and the yang, it says, the dance between darkness and light will always remain the will always remain. The stars and the moon will always need the darkness to be seen. The darkness will just not be worth having without the moon and the stars. That is it's beautiful. We don't think of it as a conflict when you look up into the beautiful sky that you see this mass of darkness and these twinkling lights that are coming out at you. You don't see that it's two opposites creating a moment. We see that as being this magnificent, amazing galaxy 